So if you're watching the last nitrous video, the poor little engine couldn't hang on and the gas gets blown. Today we're going to pull the head off and put a comedic gasket in there, followed by some more nitrous. Alright, so the choices are we've got a genuine Toyota single layer, uh, single layer steel gasket, a second hand multi layer steel, which I'm pretty sure this is already blown. Ooh, yes. Or this $50 eBay special. So first of all I put the engine on top dead center, then pulled the timing belt off, then I pulled the distributor out, I pulled the exhaust manifold off, pulled the radiator hoses off, um, all the other clips and connectors. Next the rocker cover comes off and we need to align the cams up. I'm going to zoom in here in a second and you'll see there's two dots on that right cam which is the intake cam and there's one dot on the exhaust cam. Once those are lined up, take this bolt out of here and it screws into the front of the gear and it stops this, the gear springing apart when you pull the cam out. And a little tip there. Next, we got to undo all the cam caps. I go around and just undo these um, with the ratchet and then you can get the rattle gun and undo the rest of them. They're all labelled intake and exhaust, one to five, so you can't really mess them up. Got to pull these front caps off. They're a bit sticky and time to pull the cams out. Now we can reach the head bolts. So first of all, we crack them with the primer, ah, uh, primer. First of all, we crack them with the brake apart. Now we can undo them with the rattle gun and the cylinder head can come off. I'm gonna put it on the bench and have a look at the damage. Look at that spark plug. First of all, a melted spark plug is not good. I'd say this happened when we were messing around on the dyno the other day. All right, go. Oh. So I put the nitrous kit on myself and forgot to check the timing. So when I've asked Keelan to do the power run, he's ran the car up based on what I'd set it at and this is why I made those horrible noises. Well. So it's blown across there, you can even see the material of the head gasket's gone in there. Can you see it? Yeah. So it's time to get a razor blade out and some sandpaper. We need to clean up the block and the cylinder head surface. It's really important that these are flat so the head gasket has a good seal. So spend a bit of time and get that perfect. Once that's sorted, put the head gasket on and we can put the cylinder head on. Should line straight up with those dowels and drop on. Once the head's on, we can go ahead and put the head bolts in. Just do those up to the recommended torque specs. We can put the exhaust manifold gasket on, push the exhaust back on, do those up tight. Ready to put the cams back in. Align the cams back to those dots again. Cam caps go on. Um, I think these are about 10 newton meters, but still them up two uggers and put some water in and good to go. So I put another brand new set of spark plugs in and we turned the timing back a little bit. I've since used another bottle of gas using the motor layer steel head gasket and we haven't had any problems so now it's time to step it up a bit. I've tracked down some C23 fuel which is 170 in octane. We're going to drop that straight in the tank of the green car, push the nitrous jets up a little bit further and uh, see how much more power we can make. In the meantime we have the front engine block back from the machine shop. Now we've got these new Arias or Aries pistons whatever you want to call them. We took these down in the machine shop and they've bought out the cylinders. So these fit nice. They've also drilled out the head, uh, the head threads, uh, the block threads again, so we can put these 4AG head studs in. They've turned out perfect again. So, uh, we've got an ore relocator here. We've painted the block up, so it looks pretty nice there. So I bought a brand new harmonic balancer from Toyota. As you can see, it's nothing flash at all. This was around about $250 from Japan. Also had to wait six weeks for it. That's been sitting on the shelf for a while now. So for double the price and double the weight, you can upgrade to this Ross one. I haven't tried one of these before, so this is going to be interesting. 
So we've got ARP washers to suit the, the head bolt modifications. We've got some new valve springs here. And these are much thicker than the factory ones. I'll give you a quick look at that. So this blue engine here, which is the front engine for the blue car, is going to be on hold until we can get the extreme flywheel. So that's going to be later on the year now. So I've turned my attention to this. I've got another 5E. I've got some old spool rods. I have an old crank. This came out of the uh, engine that exploded on a previous um, dyno episode. And we've got a couple of sets of forged pistons here. So this combo here, assemble this whole engine with second hand parts. And this is gonna be the new nitrous engine, which will later be going in the GT. Now this is gonna be the cylinder head that's going in the blue car. I've got some larger camshafts to put in. I've got those larger valve springs. I'm gonna do some port work. Gonna get some machining done under here. Gonna get all the valve seats done, so that's gonna be neat. So I'm gonna do an upcoming video on that of how to, um, how to build the head on the 4E. So stay tuned.